Hey folks, it's Mark and Bob with Fire Mountain Outdoors and Bob has a new rifle. New rifle day. I love it. You know, I had this uh, receiver set sitting around doing nothing. It was the americansnipers.org, serial number 18. It's been sitting in the safe. You know, we got to talking to the guys at Ballistic Advantage and they just started making 6.5 Creedmoor barrels. I'm excited about that. I'm a big fan of the 6.5, Bob. Yeah, and so, you know, you just got done building your Grendel. Uh -huh. I've got a Creedmoor. Stick around. We're going to see what this can do. He's always got to up the ante. <laughs> So, Industry Day at the Range, SHOT Show 2016, uh -huh. you know, we were shooting a, uh, a 6.5 Grendel down at the Aero Precision Ballistic Advantage booth. Right. 14.1 inch barrel. It was an awesome rifle. It, it was suppressed. Uh, it was shooting one hole groups, you know, at 100 yards, and uh, just kind of fell in love with the Creedmoor at that point. Decided I had to have one. Uh -huh. Took all my winnings from... Las Vegas, yeah, and uh, bought this new barrel. This is made by Ballistic Advantage. It is rebranded with the Aero Precision brand name on it. Okay, and uh, we're just gonna we're gonna fire a few rounds. We've only got a couple boxes here because this stuff is like thirty bucks a box. Uh -huh. So uh, money went into the barrel, not so much in the ammo. So I'm excited to see what it can do. I was really impressed with the Ballistic Advantage uh, barrels that I shot down at Shot Show. And uh, I have I have high hopes and high expectations. As you know, I love the 6.5 Creedmoor. Uh, actually, I, I have no experience with the Creedmoor. I haven't shot it before. But I love the 260 Remington. Been shooting it for a lot of years for hunting. And I just built that Grendel. Uh, this is right there in the middle in an auto loader. If this rifle can take the extra power and velocity of the Creedmoor, and yet match the uh, accuracy that I saw out of that Grendel, that is a huge win. That's right. So we're gonna load it up and we're gonna get first shots fired here today. So stick around. All right, for sure, first shots fired today, we're just running with this old Nikon Pro Staff uh, today. We're just gonna sight it in, see how it does, and then in the next few weeks, I'll be getting a better optic for it. So hopefully we'll be doing some like real long range stuff coming up this spring. So, uh, so first shots fired coming right up. All right, about uh, a foot high and an inch to the right. Oh yeah. I've got a three shot hole. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Bob. Oh! Wow. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I am talking about, too. Holy that crap. That is beauty. That exceeds my expectation so now this is what i'm talking about right here i mean obviously this is only 50 yards so we really can't give this a real definitive answer of how accurate it's going to be long range but when you can put three bullets in one hole at 50 yards using this hornady match ammo i'm going to say hell the f yeah that's awesome love this so far right now we're going to stretch it out to 100 and see what it's going to do but holy hell that's awesome right there. So we are shooting the Hornady Match, uh, the 120 grain Amax bullets in this. Uh, Bob was gracious enough to let me stretch this thing's legs at 100 yards. I'm super excited about this. This, this is very interesting to me. Uh, so far the results I've seen, I would be proud of in a bolt action, bull barreled heavy bench rest gun. And this is out of a semi auto AR 10, and uh, it's just awesome. So and that's a single stage, real light trigger on that. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure. Bob, Bob set a, uh, a hell of a precedent here.
It looks like it's shooting high for you. It is shooting high. I'm going to uh, I'm going to bring it down, Bob, and put it close to the bullseye. I'm I'm really happy with that group. I have about a seven eight inch group right there. Very, very, very nice. Right at one MOA with a wiggly rest through a bargain basement scope by a half-ass shooter. That's awesome. <laughs> ah. One whole group. I can usually make a one whole group if I just shoot one shot. I like that. Like a lot. Off. I know I couldn't be happier. Uh, Bob, I am impressed. I like that a lot. That barrel is sweet and that is a sweet shooting rifle. Yeah, I'm I'm really proud of it. You know, uh, we just grabbed one of your scopes out of the uh, the shop today because yep. I didn't have a chance to even go buy a nice piece of optic for it yet. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, just kudos to the pro staff being a value bargain basement type scope that you can go into Walmart and buy. Right. The, the glass is clear on these. Uh huh. And you know, out to 100 yards, it was doing just fine. I was I was really wanting more magnification, Bob. Uh, I would have liked, you know, on my Grendel, I put a six to eighteen on it. Yeah. And I really appreciated the the uh, the added magnification. I always shoot better with higher magnification because it lets me know that uh, my rest isn't stable, and then it helps me concentrate on that, and it makes my group shrink. So uh, I felt I could have got tighter groups with a nine. But let's look at our groups. They were awesome. Um, so you had a one hole. Three shot group at 50 yards, right. and that just tickled us pink right here. Yeah. And then uh, I stretched his legs out to 100 yards, and uh, and this was my first group. It is right at an inch. I didn't take the micrometers to it, but we can see the little one inch squares. It is right there, right at one MOA. Super, super happy with that. I, I think a lot of this, uh, the spread there, I think we could tighten that up if, if we get an optic that's got some more magnification. Um, so that I'm more aware of my wiggle, right. but, uh, got, I'm still super excited about that. That is a, a semi-auto AR platform, bam, little three shot, uh, one inch group, uh, repeated it again right there. Same thing after, uh, re-zeroing and then you were able to outshoot me. Just a little bit. I think that that's probably maybe a three-quarter inch group. It looked like through the scope. I was like, woohoo, one one whole group. But right. uh, it looks like uh, if we put a micrometer on that, it's probably going to be three-quarters of an inch, maybe but, a half but, inch. But with you in shooting, you had uh, there was less windage. I mean, yours is a tight. Any kind of string that you had, was it was in a vertical nature. That's just awesome. Yeah. Uh, big, big kudos to... Uh, Aero Precision and Ballistic Advantage for coming up with a great barrel combination. This is the 20 inch. They also make it in an 18 and a 22. Uh huh. You know, and this is their stainless steel version. It's a it's a pretty heavy profile on it, and uh, it just worked great with this M5 E1 build. I couldn't be happier. Yeah. No, it's a great it's a great rifle. That's a that's a sweet setup right there. Yeah. I like it. A lot of people have been begging us to do more long-range stuff, you know, mm -hmm. between the uh, the Grendel and now the Creedmoor. I think we're going to have a great basis to uh, to get some strong magnification and uh, and try to get to that quest of you know thousand-yard groups. Right. We're looking uh, we're looking at options for getting a place where we can shoot uh, longer than what we have right here, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, and it's going to be fun to stretch the legs on this Creedmoor and the Grendel. Right. Yep. So. So very, very well, very good, very happy, very pleased. Yeah. So if any of you guys out there are shooting 6.5 Creedmoor and you have any other thoughts on ammo that we should be trying, this is the Hornady uh, 120 grain AMAX, as Mark pointed out earlier. But uh, what loads are working for you in your uh, in your Creedmoor? And, you know, is one inch acceptable at 100 yards or, or 
you know, half inch, three quarter, whatever we're seeing here today. What are you guys seeing out of your Creedmoor? Do you remember what the twist rate is on this, Bob? Uh, I do not off the top of my head, um, but, uh, but we can add that in the description down below. That sounds great. Hey, folks, you can't take back a bullet. You never, ever want to wish that you could, so follow the four basic safety rules. Stay safe. Shoot straight. Hey, and like and subscribe. If you like our channel, uh, make sure you subscribe. And if you think that we're, uh, we're worthy of it, share us with your friends so that we can grow and uh, keep growing our channel. And let YouTube know that, hey, this kind of content is important. All right. We'll catch you folks on the firing line. Thanks for watching.